an impromptu video. I just got my lash boxes in the mail and I'm really excited to open them. I have been waiting for these boxes for five weeks exactly today and I think I haven't had any updates on shipping probably just like this last week was the first week I had some updates so I will leave the link to these in the description because I'm not going to go with these boxes long term just because for one it took five weeks and that's not realistic for me to be waiting five weeks for boxes um two I feel like I found something cheaper and well definitely did find something cheaper and it's not really exactly what I wanted but I'm just starting out so everything doesn't have to be perfect I started opening the box a little bit but then I said you know what let me make a video so AliExpress I have I'm supposed to have 20 boxes the total was 29 29.73. I want to point out some things to you guys that I see commonly overlooked just to help you on your AliExpress journey. I know that AliExpress has a bad reputation. People are very iffy about buying from it, but I feel like it has a lot to do with us as customers not doing enough reading, not doing enough research. So I suggest read, 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 read again. Okay, so right here you see shipping, $6.11 fast shipping from the United States to the United States. Now this is incorrect information. The only reason I know this is because I've already been through the buying process. Most times you don't even think about shipping until it's time to check out, but I'm telling you, always click this to see your options before you get too deep in, start picking your stuff, and then you get to your cart and you pissed off. When it comes to picking your country, region, you won't really have to do that just because if you have an AliExpress account, which I do suggest making one, it'll make things easier. All of that will just be pre-filled and pop up on its own. The free shipping has an estimated delivery date of the 5th of February. That's pretty far out from this day I'm filming this video, but we look at our next option. It says $6.63 with an estimated 24th of February. Now, if you weren't paying attention, you saw $6.11 on the front page, you might come to $6.63, click it thinking it's the faster one, and it's much later than the free one. You would be a really big fool to pay $40.17 for that third option with an estimated delivery date of the 22nd. But believe me, it happens, and then you see people in the reviews giving one star because they said it came later than it was supposed to, but you didn't read. You have to read. I don't know why I cite this. I do think that it's really crazy, and it's confusing, but it is what it is. They doing what they said they was going to do, but you have to be paying attention. Now the buyer protection is always good to read over in full. In the event they send you something incorrect, you know your options on returning or getting your money back. Sometimes the product detail says a lot. Sometimes it says a lot of nothing, but I still like to click it just to see. Same thing goes for the description. Sometimes the description will give you like a whole bunch of information like in detail. But this one just gives me some pictures, some dimensions, which really isn't a lot, but I always click it just to see. I find that most times the information you're looking for in the description, you can find it right here in the comments. I personally like to start with the images just to see if the product they have posted is what people are really receiving. And in this case, it was. I also like to check out the five star reviews, but I have noticed most times people don't leave a review if everything went good, if they've had no problems. They kind of just want to go on about their day. So I check out the ones. It could be something as simple as they spelled my name wrong, the package came a day later than expected, or something as major as they scammed me out my money. You want to see how frequently people have had this occurrence before you make your decision. Question and answer is pretty straightforward. You ask a question, you get an answer. This top one is mine. Is the box magnetic? The reply was yes, and I got that reply within an hour. So you get pretty fast replies. Skim through here to check to see if anyone has answered a question you may have. Now I'm gonna scroll back up and hit select right next to length, color, and ships from. You could also hit add to cart and it would do the same exact thing. So your length says 10 piece, 20 piece, 50 piece. Obviously that's not a length, but that's how they have it shown. Your color, ships from, told you this product does not ship from the United States. We only have China. We're gonna go back up and pick what type of box you want. As you pick your box, the price is going to change. They're not all the same price. As you pick how many of the boxes you want, the price is going to change. Now in the event you've done everything I've shown and you still have a question or a concern, you can go ahead and hit contact seller. This is direct communication with them. They reply pretty fast. Keep in mind they're in China. 
I personally like to always reach out to the seller and say thank you so much. I'm excited to get my product. Can't wait to review. I always say something because I feel like it gets me better acquainted with them. If you don't like the product that you're looking at, you can always go to the bottom of the page and they'll have more recommendations. And they have the little screen. The trays should be included, the clear trays. And we're just gonna open them up. So this is how it looks inside. So it looks pretty secure. yeah this is why i cannot go with these boxes i'm already seeing it so you see that little dent at the top and that is just on the way to me so The little dent at the top um, happened. Now, it's not a, that big of a deal, but I have to think these still have to go to the customer and they may get damaged then. And the little clear tray, you get that as well. I love the way the box feels. It feels really, really, um, it feels really good. Not that magnetic, but let's just look at how they look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna open them up some more. I did like that they all come in their own little bag, so they're not rubbing against each other, but. Oh man, I don't know, I don't think, yep, this one is the same way. This one has a little dent right here at the top. And some scratches, some on the side. The screen also looks dirty. I'm just like, I am, it's just not gonna work for me. But if you are interested, the link will be in the description. You can order 10, 20, or 50 I believe I went with 20 I'm glad I did because I was gonna do 50 I would have been upset but yeah um this is how I look this is how I look now this one now that one is nice this one is not 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 so much okay I love how they feel in the hand Oh, they feel really good. They feel really good. Maybe this could just be an unboxing review of Lash Boxes. Maybe I'll do that until I find exactly what I want. But I really believe my next box, which will also be a holographic, it just won't be magnetic and it won't be like the square screen. Maybe my next few videos, well, it won't be few because it takes a while to come from AliExpress. But let's talk about that. So these boxes took me five weeks exactly today the first four weeks there was no update or shipping whatsoever last probably saturday i got an update saying that the package was in the united states sunday night it was in chicago illinois i live in virginia monday there was an estimated delivery of monday but then it didn't come and it said it was still in transit and after monday there was nothing until today which is thursday and they were like oh estimated delivery will not be thursday so they came today on thursday a re another reason why i'm not gonna go with these um i was thinking about when i send them like what if somebody orders four and then i have to worry about fitting four and they're pretty big they're nice big not bad big but i have to worry about fitting four 
and the screen being the screen just isn't as clear as I would like. That's not that big of a deal, but I just wanted them to be a certain way. So this one I'm about to do. I'm about to open all of these and get a good look at them. Take some pictures so I can post a review on um their link, the page on AliExpress. So I do have 20 boxes and this is how they look. One more look. Some of them feel like a bit dirty. Most of them are dinged up. They all have the clear tray and the clear tray comes out. Just a clear tray. And there's no customizing on the front, on the back, nothing. I'm dropping it. So I was going to do all of that myself. But you can get them customized if you DM, well, if you message the seller on AliExpress. The link will be in my description. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can ask me in the comments down below. And I will definitely answer. Or you can DM me on Instagram with Ario underscore. And I hope you guys stick around for my entrepreneur vlog videos because I'm really excited. And yeah, stick and definitely come back for when I do my other unboxing of my boxes i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go with but that's the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching leave me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video